your MacBook Air, it's gotten a little bit better and a little bit less expensive. I'm Dan Ackman, and this is the 2014 edition of Apple's 11-inch MacBook Air. Now, of course, this looks and feels a lot like the last several generations of MacBook Air, and frankly, not a lot has changed since the last time we reviewed this in the summer of 2013. Now, in April of this year, 2014, what Apple did was they said, we're going to take the Core i5 CPU in this 11-inch base model, and we're going to kick it up one tiny notch to the next level up, and more importantly, we're going to take the price, the base price, from $999 down to $899. That's actually a pretty big cut uh, when you consider this is a very popular laptop that still is hitting that $1,000 mark where most 11-inch laptops are less expensive than that. So you get performance that's pretty darn close to what you get in the larger 13-inch version of the MacBook Air. And this new version with the slightly, slightly, slightly faster CPU was slightly faster in all our tests. We also got some additional battery life out of it compared to the 2013 version. And that could be because, uh, you know, more recent Intel Core i5 chips could have some small tweaks to make them a little bit more efficient. And uh, the more recent versions of OS X Apple's operating system uh, could have some tweaks that also make it a little bit more efficient. Either way, if you have last year's model, you're not even going to notice any difference with this one. But if you've been holding off, uh, the fact that it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit better and $100 less uh, certainly makes it easier to move into a MacBook. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the 2014 version of Apple's 11-inch MacBook Air.